I think this whole motor is just going to be one of the motors that's just always got a problem, you know? Just always giving you hell. Now, give me the damn bolt. Give it here! Can you get some marshmallows? Marshmallows? Yeah. What's going on, everybody? So it's another day. Ain't got much daylight left. Ain't really did too much today. It's Saturday, so I've just been kind of chilling out, throwing the football my boy, rode the four-wheeler a little bit, but... Figured I'd mess with this thing a little bit here for all uh, end of the day off. I got a set of headers over there, some shorty headers. I figured I might try to throw them on here real quick. Went and uh, bought a set of header bolts because I didn't find none laying around in this thing anywhere. Uh, I ain't got no exhaust pipe or no Y pipe or nothing, so we'll have to uh, build some exhaust for it another day. Got our headers here, shorty headers. Which that's probably about all that would fit on here being as it's four wheel drive you got the oil filter poking out right there and then you got the drive shaft down there so you'd have to have some long tube headers that kind of went you know kind of like that somehow i got some long tubes but none of the ones i got would work so we're going to use these shorties here it's like inch and a half tubes Pretty small outlets there, <laughs> but better than open heads and better than manifolds, I would say. Let's do some of these wires here. Let's see here. Let's see how it's gonna fit real quick. Yep. Definitely gotta do something with the wires. Ow, shit. I'm not pulling that dip stick out. Cause last time I did, I about didn't get it back in there. We can ratchet stripped out. I hate when the on. The other bolt wants to be too loose for the ratchet. And then you try to get it off with your finger and it's still too tight. All this crap needs to be redone. I like to get rid of this freaking thing. It's supposed to go bolt up back there with the bell house and the transmission. But obviously that's not where it's at. And the solenoid wire it don't look that great. So I should probably do something with that too. Man, I gotta get rid of this thing. It's gotta go. I'm about to cut it off. It's got to go. Should use gloves, I know. Uh. Ooh, your dummy is still hot. Are you gonna go to town, Dave? Maybe. I am kinda hungry. Are you? Yeah, I am hungry. What you want, buddy? Huh? What you want? Cheeseburger, ketchup, and lemonade. Mm, cheeseburger, ketchup, and lemonade. Yep. Alright, I'll get you one, okay? Yeah, and fries. Alright, I'll go to town in a minute and get you one, okay? Yeah, but can you get some marshmallows? Marshmallows? Yeah. So annoy wire down there. Wait. Headers will be a simple job, <laughs> and then it turns into a whole bunch of other crap. All right. <sighs> all the bolt holes out find myself doing this every damn time i work on something i think i'm done for now my boy there wants me to 
go get him a cheeseburger. I'm kind of hungry my damn self. So we'll have to come back at it another day, get these headers on. I was hoping I could just take 15, 20 minutes and bolt them on there, but I don't know why the hell I was thinking that. Another day to make a little bit more progress. Got all the bolt holes there. Chased, cleaned out. All those are good to go now. I'll take the header. We'll put it up here. We'll put bolts in here. You know what? I'll go ahead and check because I think I might have been having problems on these two. Now that I remember, the last time I worked on it, headers and the bolt holes wasn't lining up. All right, I think we're good on this one. Wiggle, wiggle, wobble, wobble. All right, one more to go. All right, hell yeah. I thought for sure I was going to have to waller these jokers out like I did in Daddy Stroke, but sometimes you got to just take a couple bolts out and start somewhere else, you know. Sometimes you can't just start here and put them in. You got to start with a different one. I don't know why I like that, but that's how it is sometimes. On to the other side. I mean, we still got to do gaskets and tighten them up, but I just want to get them on there and make sure they're going to fit and I ain't going to have to modify nothing. Well, I ain't even been out here 10 minutes and she's already drew blood. I guess she's going to be a mean one. I think this whole motor is just going to be one of the motors that's just always got a problem, you know, just always giving you hell. That's just what it seemed like. <laughs> I just already got that feeling. Well, some miracle we was able to get all the header bolts and stuff in. So now let's see what we got here for gaskets. I think I've seen a set of regular uh, just manifold gaskets in here somewhere. That'll be the easiest thing to use. Cause I got all the bolts in now. <laughs> I thought there was some in here. That's the reason I went ahead and put all the bolts in. Come on, man. Don't do me like this. Okay, yeah, there they are. There they are. All right, let's get our gaskets in. These usually seal up pretty decent on these little small tube headers like this. As long as you keep them tight and don't let them get loosened up and blow out. I need to figure something out with this day on dip stick, too. It goes in a very weird spot on the Looking oil pan. Come here, you little bastard. Yeah. Crap all in the way. Crap will stay out of the way. Yeah. Tight spot. Come on now, really? Bastard. I'm gonna cut you off now. I'm gonna literally cut you off if you don't stay out of my way. I don't remember the back header bolt being this hard on a 90 model. I ain't gonna crank down on them real hard. Chinese aluminum. Probably won't hold up very good. That's probably why I just had to re-thread both sides. Alright, this side's good and tight. Alright, headers are all bolted up. Got gaskets on them. I remembered I had these aluminum valve covers. So I grabbed them and just stuck them on there real quick just to see what it looked like. It would look a lot better if it had a big single plane on it with a double pumper on there. Oh, Elderbrock carburetors, they just... They just don't make a motor look good, if you ask me. <laughs> I guess now, I'm gonna see if I can find some pipe or or something. Try to make some exhaust out of. If I had this bracket here with the pulley with the tensioner and all on it, I could uh, put a belt and stuff on it. We could drive it down the road with open headers, but I don't have that bracket. I just text my buddy I got the truck from, see if he's got it. And uh, text a couple other buddies, see if they might have one, in case he don't. So maybe I can find that bracket there soon and then I'll uh, get some exhaust on it. We can drive her down the road. But I'm going to go around the yard here. I got junk everywhere as you can see. So hopefully I got some pipe laying around. Actually, actually I think I got some uh, brand new pipe in the box there from an uh, exhaust job. Me and a buddy of mine did on his truck a while back. Yeah, here we go. Got some 90s, some 45s there. So, yeah. Alright. We should be able to make something happen with what I got. 
I guess I need to crawl on there and see exactly what I need. This mic going. All right. I might have to chop that ear off. I usually always do that anyhow on most transmissions. They always getting in the way of the exhaust. Driver's side here. Should do the come straight down. Go around the drive shaft here. It's got a flow master on it right now, just one. Single pipe going right there. I don't have no collectors that we can bolt to this, so I might just end up welding a piece of pipe on to the header on each side. And then I can connect them down here, connect them to the exhaust. I don't know if I'm gonna use this exhaust or not. If I had another flow master, I'd rather have dual exhaust. I don't like single exhaust. I got somewhat of an idea what I need. So let me go look around. I forgot I had these little cherry bombs here I could put on. What's up? Do you know where any cars are? Oh, uh, there's a bunch right there. Those are mine. Mm, there's probably a bunch all over the place. You just gotta look around everywhere. <laughs> Haven't looked over there. Yeah, we'll I'm gonna look little. over there and go look over there and over there and I looked, everywhere. I, 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 mean, I looked there, I looked over there, I looked over there, but I need to still look over here. Got these here. Got little racing mufflers on them. That would be probably a little too loud, but that's probably about the size pipe I'll need. Well, fellas, I might have got lucky. I've done about throw these things away for scrap about seven times and I've been holding on to them just in case I might need them one day and we might just get lucky I pulled these off of an S10 I do believe it was neither a V8 S10 or V8 Blazer that I pulled these off of and if you know about the shorty headers for a small block Chevy V8 swap they got a little flange on them, kind of like them do. It bolts up like this. So I might can cut this off and use this part. Or hell, I might can use the whole pipe. I don't know if it'll clear all the four-wheel drive stuff, but we might can definitely at least use this piece and that piece up there to connect to the header. So hell yeah. These things been laying out here for years. <laughs> but it just goes to show you. Don't, don't throw stuff away. You never know when you might need it. All right. So I just went ahead and cut the mufflers off of these pipes. I'm going to have to slide them in here easier. See if they'll work the way they are before I go to chopping everything up. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I still got the other one. I'm going to try it up here too. But this one fits pretty good so far. As you can see, it meets up with the header there. Clears everything for the most part. Might need to pick it up a little bit. This one might work better on the driver's side. We'll to see. I got the other one here too. Come here, you bastard. Come here. This made a little bit different, so it might fit a little bit better. But either way, I think we got a winner winner chicken dinner here on making our exhaust easier to do. I totally forgot I had these pipes over there with these flanges and stuff on it, so it worked out pretty good, I would say. We'll see how this other one fits, and then let's check the driver's side. Rust and dirt, everything else all in my eyes and mouth. That's nice. Yeah. The other one fits better over here. So let's try this one on the driver's side. If I have to, I can just chop them off like right here. And I can make them fit pretty damn good. And just weld some pipe onto them from there out. Either way, I think we got our, some exhaust to start with. And I don't have to build from scratch, which is nice. Oh, shit. There's a cross member there, you dummy. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. 
knock the whole pipe thing in. Anyhow, but either way, like I said, I can still cut them off, like right here or something. You know, have something to work with. Now my buddy just left the house. He said that uh, he's got the bracket we need for the four wheel drive, so I'm headed over there to get it now. He came by the house to get a flywheel. I thought I had, but I forgot to let Hot Wheels borrow. Technically, flex plates. We headed over here to get this bracket now, and then we're gonna go back to the house and see if we can get it put on. It's got an AC compressor on it. I don't know if it's locked up or what. We'll see when we get there. He sent me a picture of it. It looked looked kind of rough. You can tell it's been setting out in the weather, but we'll make it work some way or another. What the hell's going on up here? What the hell is y'all people doing? Let's just stop in the middle of the road. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's just all stop in the middle of the road. Which hell, this ain't nothing. I was coming down the damn interstate the other day, running 80 mile an hour, and there's a dude just sitting in the middle of the road, standing out in front of his car. Literally about got smoked by the guy behind me. All right, we're over here to get the bracket. We're going back down here, throw some tires in here for the truck, because I got to give him the ones on it back and a bracket. And then we'll be headed to the house. I got two out in it for the lift. You ain't got a bull bully, do you? Throw them jokers on there. Old groundhogs or whatever they call. Free up. Yeah, I'll free it up. I'll make it work. Bracket, tensioner, got that piece, so that's mainly what we needed. We can make this work. It was like it was like that come off a car. Sir? It must have come off a car that set up. Well, that's what came off that blue truck. Well, it was a car, I Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It was like a Camaro set up. Yeah, that's the one that came off the blue truck. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'll make this one work. Groundhogs. Is that what they are? here I'm gonna see if I can get it freed up if not we'll just have to go get a AC delete fully but we got all uh, the pipes there and the exhaust cut a little bit shorter but we're gonna take a break from the exhaust real quick and see if we can get this freed up and I got it loosened up a little bit here we go come on I figure this is the easiest way just stick her in the vise and go back and forth I think we got her good enough. Obviously, it don't sound the greatest, but it's spinning. It probably don't sound the greatest because I dropped it in the dirt. Need to find some bolts. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. And we'll get that put on there. Get a belt and stuff on it. Let's see. Belt. Bracket. Oh, yeah. Got to put this... Power steering pulley on there too. Hopefully. Power steering. Okay, yeah. It, it turns. It ain't locked up. So that's good. I don't even know if it's got fuel in it or what, but I got a couple gallons of gas in the back of my truck. I got earlier today in town. So we got gas. As long as it pumps fuel up to it. Oh, yeah. We got to uh, hook our plug wires back up. Mm, that'll be about it as far as taking it down the road check my fluids and stuff but other than that 
I think we can uh, put it together enough to at least drive it down the road and back or see if it's going to move around anyhow. I need to check my fluids. I really don't want to pull that dipstick back out because last time I did, about never got it back in there, but it looked a little low on oil and it looked a little watery, honestly. So I might just drain the oil out of it, put some fresh in it the way I know it's full and know it's got good oil in it. And then uh, I don't even know where the damn dipstick for that transmission is at. Does it even have one? What the hell? I really don't see one. So what the hell? I guess we don't have a dipstick for our transmission. Yeah, this damn thing don't have a dipstick in it. What the hell? Yeah, get my finger in it. Yeah. Well, it's got a little bit of fluid in it. It's nice and red, so that's good. At least it ain't black. But I don't know how much fluid's in it, so <laughs> actually now that now that I think about it, I seen a little dipstick in the back of the truck. Actually, so Yep. There it is, right over there. Oh well, we're gonna do this bracket deal. And then we'll worry about dipstick later. Hey girl, you come see me? Mm -hmm. You come to see me? Yeah, here's a good girl. Yeah, here's a good girl. You hungry? You want something to eat? That's why you come see me, huh? Because I give you food. Yeah. Well, the kids are back. I'm trying to get this damn line off, but it will not unscrew for shit. And I'm tired of asking. The patience only lasts so long. Cut it down here too, so it don't really matter. It ain't no good now. I was really trying to save it, I honestly was, but it just wasn't unscrewed. I was literally bending the whole damn thing up. <laughs> trying to unscrew it. Get out of here. Alright, now. Wow, that looks so much better already. Chase these bastards out too. Actually, you think? Yep. Uh. Yep. And where's the camera? There it is. It's all. You can see I just barely stuck this bolt in there, and it's already picked up the threads out of the daggone bolt hole. Oh man, you gotta have love aluminum, especially cheap Chinese aluminum. All right. Seems like I've been running this tap into a lot of stuff here lately. And I'll probably put the stud in this one. That's it. Messed up a little bit. Freaking cans don't never want to spray. You gotta have them freaking perfectly straight. Ridiculous. Can't they make the damn spray can actually work? the hell let's see if my bolt to go in now all right i think we good now all right let's try this again all right let's do this without cross threading it tired of running tap in the freaking crap all right all right all right all right ratchet 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 where you at where you at there it is didn't pinch no wires back there hell yeah What's going in or what? What the hell? Damn, I guess we maxed out. Let me see about this other one here. Yep, I guess we maxed out. Damn. The bolts wasn't even that long. No way like we're gonna be going nowhere today. I'm wasting too much damn time. Freaking being an idiot. Oh, come on out of there. 
there, you bastard. I don't know that thing. There we go. I was saying, no, it ain't still in there. Alright, no aluminum on the thread, so I don't think I stripped it. Go find some shorter bolts or a few washers. Alright, let's try this again. Got us a couple washers on there. Couldn't find no shorter bolts. Well, I could find shorter bolts, but it was too short, so I'll just grab a couple washers. It should do the trick. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious, bro? Oh my god, I put two washers on it. Not enough. Back off we go again. Is this the universe telling me to not put this on here or something? What the hell? No, probably just, like I said, me being an idiot. Oh man, how long were these bolts? Damn, I done took them out. Oh, man. Ugh. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, that freaking washer's too big. Figured it was. That's why I didn't put it on there. Alright, you know what? It's gonna be good this time. Gonna be pretty. I'm just gonna have bolts in it. Come on, you sure are making a lot of damn noise, and you ain't going nowhere, buddy. Whoever you are, flying up and down my road all the time. Red Silverado, I think. Loud and slow, buddy. Do literally floorboards it every morning and every evening when he's coming in, wide ass open. And it takes him like five minutes to get down a one and a half mile road. Oh, that's great. Okay, never mind. I got it. Ugh. Ugh. Damn, that belly's gonna be all scar up and leaning over. Oh man, all right. Gotta go find some more washers. Ugh. Let's see if we can finish this damn crap. Come on now. I always have a problem finding the hole. There we go. Went right in, right time. Oh, dang it. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, dude. Really? Really? Now I got too many washers on. And I freaking dropped my socket. I don't know where the hell it went. Oh man. Uh, where'd you go? Uh, damn it. Where in the hell did it go? Man. This ain't even right. Did it go down there. <laughs> I thought I heard it hit the ground, but I don't see it down there. Son of a... Mm. Alright, I'm gonna find another damn socket. Damn the damn bolt. If I get fucking stuck. What the hell, dude? Are you serious? I swear. <laughs> I'm getting seriously freaking aggravated. Come on out of there. Really, dude? I swear, this is the dumbest shit ever. Can't get the damn bolt out. Got too many damn washers on it all of a sudden. Oh, I go, I couldn't get enough on. Now it's too many. Now the bolt won't come out so I can take some off. I'm over it already. As soon as I get this bracket on here, I'm done. I was gonna try to get the power steering pulley on and belt on and crap, but as soon as I get this damn bracket on, I think I'm done for the day. I'm aggravated with this crap. Oh my goodness, all these damn bolts are 100 miles long. This damn pulley out the way. Maybe I can get my fingers in there and grab the damn bolt. Still can't get it. Come out. I swear. Now, give me the damn bolt. Son of a bitch. Give it here! I ain't been this aggravated in a hot minute. Huh. 
Now, take two off. Try that. Now, I'll probably freaking be too damn long again. Had washers on it, a little bit too big and it's jammed in there. Alright, maybe that'll work. Damn. This thing's freaking driving me nuts. Should be easier now, though. I got that damn little pulley out of the way. It was the third, fourth time I tried to put this damn thing on here. Oh, finally, finally, finally. It's tightening up. Losing daylight. Phone's dying. I'm aggravated. But, damn bracket. Get on there. Alright, well, I'm super freaking aggravated. Well, I'm a little better now that I got the bracket on there. Got that on there. Went ahead and put the power steering pump pulley on there too. So, got them two things done. But, like I said, I'm aggravated. I'm over it now. Plus, it's getting dark. And uh, my phone's about to die anyhow. So, I won't be able to record much more. Alright, another day. Already got our belt on up there. I'm going to let this oil drain or whatever the hell's in here oil and water mix or whatever the hell it is it didn't look too good yeah not looking too good <laughs> i don't know if this thing got a blowed head gasket or maybe that's why the intake was off or what damn i can't even believe i ran this thing with this crap in here hopefully it ain't hurt golly that's just nasty damn truck had taco bell i reckon now we're getting a little bit of oil a little bit of oil and water mix but we're getting to the oil a little bit now <laughs> so i guess it did have some in it i'm gonna let that drain we'll hook up the plug wires damn i ain't got another oil filter i was just gonna change the oil not worry about the oil filter but i didn't know the oil was this bad all right well it's super freaking nasty out here been raining and crap but picked up oil filter today so uh figured i'd throw this on here got a little bit of oil got a half dead battery we're gonna see if uh we can get this thing to bust off i got the belt and all on as you can see got all that on there we'll have to put the top part of the shroud on and you know we gotta put a couple of hoses on it still got a few little odd and end things to do but I want to see if I can get it fired back up since we uh got the starter and all on there. See how that works. And uh, maybe I'll at least get it to where I can move it around in the yard since both of my four wheelers are currently broke down. Of course, this filter's going to be a pain in the ass. Can't really tell, but it collapsed it a little bit. Got this little tool here. You can see where oil squirted out. But I can't really get it that good from up here. Probably would have been easier to get off if I would have tried to do it before I put the headers on. But, I don't know, man. I ain't got nothing to freaking lay on. Everything's soaking wet. I was hoping it would come right off, but I should have known that wasn't going to happen. So, <clears throat> I got Spider-Man there to help me out. Made me a little shop floor. Got her off of there. It's oozing out. Some nasty-ass milkshake. So we'll probably have to change it again after we uh, run it a little bit, but uh, no big deal. That's why we buy the cheap stuff. Now, whether or not the motor's gonna be hurt, bearings or something, it might be another story. Might uh, need a short block <laughs> on down the road, but we're gonna have fun with what we got anyhow. I ain't too much worried about it. It is what it is. I mean, it's a it's a small block Chevy. It should be all right. I forgot that it didn't have no valve cover gaskets or any bolts, so had to improvise on uh, filling the oil up <laughs> just slowly but surely. All right, we got plug wires, uh, half ass hooked up. Some of them kind of burnt. Some of them don't want to clip on there worth the crap. Some of them's hitting the headers and don't want to go on there uh but you know whatever anyway make sure you're not gonna automatically catch on fire thing looks decent besides wires everywhere got our half dead battery i guess let's see if it'll turn over 
Well, we got some kind of power. I guess it's a little more than halfway dead. Sounds like it's all the way dead. We got some cables hooked up. Let's see what that does. All right, she'll turn over. We'll let that sit and charge for a minute. And get some gas put down her throat and see what happens. All right, give me some fire, baby. I right up, but uh, it's not like our starter grinding a little bit. Let's try it again. I can go ahead and have all of it. Look, I see a little spot right there. Dig them cheap ass Chinese cap and ragless plug wires. Don't want to clip on there right couldn't find no more gas on drain both four wheelers c10's been drained but found some brake cleaner so we're gonna make some fire somehow here come on you bastard stay running that battery ain't worth shit and my damn cables are small as shit. So they ain't charging worth the crap. Cause they're only like 10 gauge wire. They ain't worth the crap. Well, I guess our old battery there just took a shit all together. Don't wanna do nothing now. As you can see, my cables are tiny as hell, so they don't work worth the crap. So, I reckon I'll just uh, put it on the battery charger overnight. Maybe we'll try it again tomorrow. I need to get some gas and stuff anyhow. All right, next day, I got uh, some gas somewhere. Oh, yeah, in the back of the CT in there. Drove it around a little bit. Uh, brakes kind of locked up on me. You can kind of see where I was making it shake its ass going back and forth, trying to get her backed up so I could park it back over there. But, uh, yeah, they don't want to move. <laughs> but, uh, back on this thing today. I'm about to uh, get some valve cover gasket put on it. We got these here. And we got all this fancy stuff. Came with the truck. So, uh, we're going to utilize what we got here. And, uh, get some valve cover gaskets on this rig. We got a good hot battery in it today. So, we shouldn't have battery problems. Alright, we got gaskets on the valve covers. But uh, I don't know how good they're going to seal. As you can see, somebody's cranked down on them a little too tight already. Got them bent. But I guess it'll uh, be better than nothing. But let them dry a little bit and then we'll get them all uh, slapped on there. And they won't have oil leaks too bad. Just a little bad. All right, we got our valve covers on. I didn't find them at one pack of these or four pack. So we just got two on the bottom on each side. So she might she might spray a little bit of something out the top until I can get uh some for the top part or just some regular bolts or something. But got a good hot battery in it. I just uh filled the bowls up with gas, put some gas in the tank. So uh, we're gonna see what she'll do. Alright, what's the gauge you gonna say? I guess it might be right. It's going straight to empty. I did hook the gas pedal up, but I don't know. it's very stiff, so I don't know how that's going to work. Right, let me just see if it'll fire. Oh, that starter sounds bad. Prop y'all up right there. I'm use the jug here. Try to feed it, I reckon. Get it, get it started, see if we can get it to pump something. I'd say I don't think it's pumping anything. Nope. <laughs> Filter is fully dry. It might not have enough gas in it to pick up. I don't know. Right, that's the, that one's going to the right spot, it looks like. So I wonder if our fuel pump's just bad. It looks like a newish fuel pump, so I don't know. But just because it's new don't mean nothing. New crap comes 
junk already nowadays. What I'm gonna do is just uh unhook this right here. And I'm just gonna stick that hose down in my jug there while I got a little bit of gas left. And we'll know for sure then if the uh, fuel pump is working or not. Let's see if I can get the fire back off here. Yeah, wasn't quick enough. She is pumping fuel. So uh, I guess we just ain't got enough in the tank. Well, either something between there and the tank ain't right. Sounds like we're gonna have to figure something else out with that starter too. As you can hear, it and the flywheel beating each other up, it sounds like. So still got starter problems to fix. And now we got fuel problems to fix. So <laughs> you fix one thing and then you got two more things you gotta fix. And then you get them fixed and then you got three more things you got to fix but that's just how it goes all right so i got some more gas put in it so i know it's got at least two and a half gallons in it so that should be more than enough you should be able to pick that up we got our uh, fuel lines hooked back up got the battery in it i done filled the carb up so uh let's see what it'll do <laughs> jump on there and look at the flywheel and starter real quick though make sure they ain't beating each other up too bad Let's see if we can see it through here we ain't gotta crawl on the damn wet ground yeah, come on focus yeah. not even close but it don't look it don't look ate up or nothing so far <laughs> see if we can see anything here we got lines all hooked up Okay, so it looks like somebody's put a new pump or at least a new pickup and stuff in it. Some lines and all are nice and shiny. There's a possibility that something here could be hooked up wrong. Wow, the lines look pretty damn rough right there. Holy moly. Oh, found our problem. That'll definitely do it. The line is not hooked up to the fuel filter. Alright, so that'll definitely uh, <laughs> that'll definitely cause a problem. Alright, well we got the line hooked up. I right, should pump some damn fuel. I guess I jinxed it because uh still ain't popping no damn fuel. What the hell man? I wonder if it's just clogged up. I mean it looks like a new filter. So I wonder if maybe the line's just rusted out and plugged up somewhere or something. I don't know. Everything's hooked up now. This is something to do with the, the pickup in the tank or either. Got a line or something plugged up. Something's going on. Well, I was hoping to uh, get this thing where I could drop it in gear and move it around in this video, but I don't reckon that's going to happen. We got some kind of fuel problem going on, as you can see. I mean, I ain't too much worried about it. If anything, I'll just put a damn jug up here, and stick the line in it, and roll with it. I'm just trying to go mud riding. That won't be the first time I've had to do stuff like that just to go have fun. But, uh, yeah, we might have to, uh, I don't know, drop the tank, put some new lines on it or something. We'll get it figured out. I ain't too much worried about it. If y'all want to, y'all can throw some ideas in the comments on uh, what y'all might think it'll be. But, uh, yeah, I reckon we're going to end this one off right here. I'm going to mess with old Blazer over there a little bit and just swap the tires and wheels on it. Had two flats, so I got them swapped. I'm about to get it 
pulled up over there we can get the motor mounted in it we got some wire and we got the motor mounts and all that good stuff so we're gonna get started on that deal there so uh we'll come back to this one another day and uh hopefully we can drive it in the next video but anyway we're gonna shut her down here y'all just uh let me know what y'all think about it and we'll see y'all in the next one later